Police say it started here around 8 o'clock Sunday evening. A fight in the area of Howlett's Memorial Drive and Pipeline Road in the Ghouls. When officers arrived, they discovered a badly injured 21-year-old man. A targeted attack, say police, with injuries they say are consistent with an assault and a gunshot wound. It led to an intense search for those involved. Officers with weapons drawn comb streets and farmers' fields around the ghouls. Public warnings were issued over social media, cautioning area residents to stay inside their homes. These two boys witnessed some dramatic scenes as they were eating outside Peter's Pizza. Three cops, they were going up to the dumpster with their guns and like yelling. They thought he was in the dumpster, but he wasn't. He escaped. We let the police know that what we seen, and then he hopped in the dumpster over by the corner store. He got in the dumpster, and then the police had their guns drawn, and but he escaped. This man, 20-year-old Brandon Chafe, was taken into custody. He appeared in court this morning, facing multiple firearms offenses, along with aggravated assault. The two-hour manhunt for Brandon Chafe ended here last night, just after 10 o'clock. Now behind me, this is Forest Pond, just off Petty Harbor Road. Now neighbors I spoke to here this afternoon told me that Chafe entered the pond over here, trying to escape from police officers and their dogs. They say that uh, Chafe was saying at the time, screaming out that he was naked and that he didn't want to come out of the pond. He swam over here to the other side of the pond, screaming out at times that he was uh, uh, only carrying a paintball gun at the time when all this unfolded earlier in the evening. And this is where he was taken into custody, right over here with neighbors watching it all unfold. Police say they were able to effectively track Chafe because of help from local residents. A heavy police presence continued today. A crime scene stretching over several kilometers, with area residents still shaken by what unfolded. The Goulds used to be a quiet place. Till recently, there was a shooting two weeks ago down here. There was a the shooting last night. We think it was a shooting. And uh, there was an accident last night that, uh, unfortunately, the individual passed away. So he's getting, uh, he's getting nervous to be here. This isn't Chafe's first run-in with the law. In late May, he was arrested for his connection to a string of shootings and violent attacks in St. John's. Chafe was released on bail on May 31st. Police officers could be seen canvassing the area on Monday and are asking witnesses or those with any videos to contact investigators. A white sedan or Jeep is believed to have left the crime scene. Police say they believe more people were involved in the shooting. Chafe was held in custody following his court appearance and is due back before a judge early next month. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.